Good evening, Atlanta. My name is Shannon Persons, reporting to you at the CNN Center. It's September 2nd, 1864. It's a big win for the Union Army today. We've got Michael on site at the actual battle. Michael, can you tell us more about this? I'm standing here on Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta. It's crazy out here. Buildings are burning and the people are running. It's the decisive battle in this civil war. We have General Sherman here with us. General Sherman, what are you thinking about this battle? It's not over. Our goal is to break the back of the Confederacy. We earned a victory in Atlanta, but we have not completed the job. Is it really necessary to burn down the whole city? Yes, the South will never accept the goals of reuniting the entire Union, unless we show them that we will win. And they will never give up their slaves unless we break their will to fight. I learned in Tennessee that although the Southerners cannot be made to love us, they can be made to fear us. You've been compared to Attila the Hun and Julius Caesar in your extreme war tactics. Does that bother you? No, I've been tasked with the job and some difficult goals. I'm doing what's necessary to carry out my orders. Tell me about your strategy that helped to take down Atlanta. First, we had to cut off supplies to the Confederacy by taking Vicksburg, Mississippi and taking control of the Mississippi River. Then we took Chattanooga, which was the pathway of iron to the mills in Georgia, all of which was keeping their troops and weapons and ammunition. We bore the Confederacy down and we destroyed everything on our way into Atlanta and everything on the way out. This was a big win for the North and we are truly committed in total war, to total war. What are your plans now, General Sherman? I'm heading to Savannah, Georgia with 62,000 troops. We aim to destroy the South's ability to wage war and cut off supplies to the Confederacy. We plan to burn a path as wide as possible, free slaves on the way, destroy railroad lines, and send a message to, South, to the South that we mean business. And maybe we can wrap up this all up by Christmas. Thank you, General Sherman. Good luck and Godspeed. There you have it. The South seems to be cracking at the hands of General Sherman. Now back to you, Shannon. Thank you, Michael. We'll be back after a brief message from our sponsor.